Liberal leader Justin Trudeau again addressing the revelation that he wore blackface on more than one occasion in the past. Other party leaders have condemned Trudeau. Conservative Andrew Scheer says he's not fit to govern. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh says Trudeau's actions are hurtful and he'll have trouble looking him in the eye. Photos and video show Trudeau wearing dark makeup when he was a teacher in Vancouver in 2001 and when he himself was a high school student. For more on how these images will impact the campaign for all of the parties going forward, I want to bring in a panel of political strategists. In Ottawa, we have conservative strategist Semhar Tekast and former NDP caucus press secretary Farouk Karim. We had a liberal strategist lined up, but a last-minute scheduling conflict prevented her from taking part. So Semhar, Trudeau has now publicly apologized twice. What do you make of the apologies? Look, I think that Canadians are grateful for the apology, but the reality is that his behavior is symptomatic of a broader issue. Justin Trudeau has spent the last four years lecturing us on inclusion and feminism and diversity, when all the while we now know that he has exhibited racist behavior in the past, has hid it from Canadians, and frankly has you know paraded around Canada and the world with his woker than thou attitude and uh, as a voter I would like to know will the real Justin Trudeau please stand up he's obviously one person in private another in public I think voters want to know who they're dealing with Farouk I think it goes at the heart of the Prime Minister's branding this is why it's so damaging uh, as uh, has been said Mr. Trudeau has been the champion of diversity and rightly so uh, we celebrate that but uh, when you have that in your uh, closet and you haven't talked about it uh, for 18 years, it's problematic and it, uh, it sends a signal, uh, is he sincere when he talks about those issues? And that could be really damaging for his personal brand. Uh, over the last two years, when the Liberals uh, uh, were down in the polls, it was always, always around personal issues of the Prime Minister's personal brand the India trip, the Aga Khan, the way he treated Jody Wilson Revolt. So all that accumulates, and this one is one more. Uh, you know, Samhar, uh, Justin Trudeau said when he was asked, you know, moments ago about why he didn't talk about this with his team or publicly, he said that he was embarrassed. What do you make of that uh, response? Rightfully so. He should be embarrassed. But we're not talking about something that Justin Trudeau did in say you know at a time in 1961 towards the end of the Jim Crow era in the United States this was 2001 he knew it was wrong then he's chastised other candidates for making mistakes and he can't minimize his own to benefit himself in this election the reality is he should have come out and said so sooner he should come out and actually exhibit who he, he really is Canadians want to know who Mr. Trudeau is. We want to see the Justin Trudeau in private that he's been caught being time and time again. This is the man who uh, he says this us. is not. He says he's changed. Like he he said this well, is not the man I, I, that I the man I've become or the politician I've become. That's look. Voters will decide that on October 21st, but this is the man who's lectured us on feminism, got caught, you know, was accused of groping a woman and then said she experienced it differently. This is the man who said that he wanted a different relationship with Indigenous Canadians, and when he was asked about poisoned water in Grassy Narrows, thanked a wom the woman for paying thousands of dollars for a ticket to attend the fundraiser. Look, I think that uh, that all voters will have to, to make that decision. I think that his behavior with blackface is symptomatic of a broader issue with Mr. Trudeau. I think that he is one person in private, and it's time for Canadians to be exposed to that person 100% of the time. Farouk, we heard from... Uh, oh, go ahead, Farouk. Yeah. You know, I was going to say about the embarrassment and not talking mm -hmm. about it. That's not good enough. I mean, he, he was 29 years old. This is not like, this, it's one thing to have done a stupid mistake when you're in high school, although it's not excusable, but w people can understand. He was a grown man, 29 years old, and he was a teacher, a teacher of theater. So he must have some clue of role playing character and, how to, uh, and, and uh, some history on theater. He must have known there's no way that he's trying to make it seem like, well, I wasn't aware of it. It's not good enough. A year before that event, Spike Lee came out with a movie addressing the issue forefrontly. Uh, there was uh, a lot of stories in the media in the, in the year in the 2000 about blackface. So not 
uh, uh, knowing and saying that well it wasn't it was less sensitive issue of, uh, at that time I don't think it's good enough but more than, more than that I think the question was posed to Mr. Trudeau during the, uh, the the press conference earlier why did he need talk about it and the embarrassment but he had so many opportunities to make it at the teachable moment and be in front of it why not do it and what else do, is he embarrassed about is he hiding from Canadians well, I don't, I don't know about that, but he was asked if there are other uh, images or other videos, and he said that, uh, and I just want to quote him exactly, I'm wary of being definitive. He says, how can you not remember? I didn't understand how hurtful this is. So we well, don't Andrew, know. Andrew, how many times constitute a trend? We know of three instances at the very least to this point. And my question, you know, to your audience is, uh, your, your listeners are, what constitutes a trend? When do we start asking Mr. Trudeau the tough questions? Who is he in private? When do we get the opportunity to see who he really is so we can make an educated decision on October 21st? For, Farouk, what do you make of, uh, you know, Jagmeet Singh? He talked about how this is uh, hurtful. Um, politically, though, what do you yeah. make of, of, of what this could mean? Uh, this is a question to you both, but Farouk, do you want to start? Yeah. Sure. First of all, this is why it's important to have diverse representation at the top level of a political system, because it allows people to, to share their different experience with Canadians. And that's what, exactly what Jagmeet Singh uh, did yesterday when he addressed uh, uh, post uh, Mr. Trudeau's uh, press conference in the plane. He basically they didn't even uh, mention Mr. Trudeau too much, but he was addressing young kids, how people feel. Today on my on my Facebook newsfeed, I have an eclectic newsfeed. So a lot of people were saying, "Well, it's not a big deal." Some other were saying, "Well, yes, it's a huge deal." The fact of the matter is, we have to listen to the people who feel something when they see these pictures, mm -hmm. and not dismiss those feelings. It is important conversation to have, and the way Mr. Singh addressed that, talking directly to those kids. Who might, who might have experienced that, as he has experienced that in his life, I think was really on point. And for somebody who is uh, 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 presenting himself to Canadians for the first time, I think that was a, 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 a well-communicated message yesterday. Um, Semhar, you have a leader, though, you know, Andrew Scheer, who has said there have been some candidates who have said some things in, the, in their past that are racist, homophobic, or offensive. And he's like, look, if the candidate regrets it and apologizes for it, um, that candidate can continue to run in the election. So what's the difference between that and what Justin Trudeau has done? The difference is twofold. One is Mr. Trudeau's hypocrisy and the amount of time that he has spent lecturing all other Canadians on, um, on diversity and inclusion and, like I said earlier, his woker-than-that attitude. The other is that, in my opinion, this is uh, symptomatic of a, a broader issue with Mr. Trudeau. He is just not as advertised. He is not who he says he is. He mm -hmm. is the person who is, you know, lectured us on feminism, like I said, on indigenous issues, and yet time and time again, he's proved that he does not walk the walk, the talk, the walk. Sorry. Fi uh, finally, just um, a personal thought from you both. Like, you know, take off your political hats for a second, uh, Farouk. I'll start with you. What was your reaction to this, just as a person? First of all. Completely, I couldn't believe it. When the, the news uh, broke uh, yesterday, late yesterday, I thought it was a joke. I thought it was one of the satirical news media out there that's really funny. And I couldn't believe it. Uh, I, and, and this morning as I wake up, I see that there's another event. So not only that Mr. Trudeau did not address the complete amount of events yesterday night, there's one additional and apparently there's more. Personally, I think about, I mean, pe people of color all across the country know this since well for their whole life there's so many events either overt or covert of of uh, discrimination and racism and uh, here and there and, and uh, you know uh, wisecracks here and there people feel that they know this and 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 that's why it's important to reach out to them and let them know listen even though the prime minister behaved this way this is the leader of our country you belong here and i thought that's why the message of mr singh i think kind of uh, uh, connected with people by saying that uh, related to his own experience I it related to my experience and I felt that when I when I heard that message Sam Hart um, I can't say I was shocked unfortunately maybe it's just that people who look like me are desensitized a little bit to, to racism but on the on the flip side you know there there are 41 ridings in Canada where the majority of the vote in this election will be cast by a visible minority that makes me very proud 27 of those ridings are in Ontario 
What I hope is that visible minorities on October 21st take a stand. Um, and make a decision based on what we have learned, not just in this instance, but over the past four years about Mr. Trudeau. Thank you both very much. That is um, Thank you. conservative strategist Sam Hartekist and former NDP caucus press secretary Farouk Karim.